Where am I putting money this year? First, mga reality. VOCA environment is still upon us. Volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous. Taas ng presyo ng bilihin, higher inflation, interest rates up, seeming recession, hindi lang local but global, hindi lang sa financial, buong ekonomiya, a global economic crisis upon us. Second reality, we still have to manage our personal finances. Earning, planning, saving, spending, investing. Yes, including investing even at these times. Third reality, investing principles remain the same. Investing carries no certainties, walang siguradong investment. The higher the return, the higher the risks. Totoo pa rin yan. All returns will come from risks. Impossible to have high returns with little risks. No, manage, mitigate risks. Don't just be focused on returns. Invest with a clear purpose, target, and timeline. So, where will I put money in 2023? For the purpose of having cash reserves. Cash reserves serves is money that I will use if my fixed sources of income gets challenged or depleted, nabawasan or nahinto. Kukuha ako sa cash reserves for my fixed income expenses kung sakaling yung fixed income ko ay mas mababa sa fixed expenses ko. So far, hindi naman. Kaya tanggap na dapat ng karamihan na dapat maraming sources of active income. Active income is money earned in exchange of our own time, skills, and talent. I placed my cash reserves in high-yielding deposits. The one offered in payment transaction app GCash in their partnership with CIMB Bank. It provides 2.4% interest per year. This is much higher than the 0.2% deposit products ng mga malalaking banko, universal and commercial banks. 10 times more or 10 times higher ang offering ng CIMB than the regular deposit products of the more popular big universal banks. Emergency fund. This is the money I will use if in case sad events happen in my life. There are costs to these sad events. These events are sickness, accidents, disability, even death. Hindi inaasahan maaaring dumating ng biglaan. Kaya, emergencies. I am covered. I am protected. I have placed money in AIA Philippines, formerly PhilAm. I have multiple policies with AIA. One is AIA Med Assist with riders on accidents, critical illnesses, and most especially, coverage for costs of hospital and medical situations. Death benefit is obviously included. There is also an investment component in insurance policies. I have a VUL to cover or to add to my fund for critical illnesses, death benefit to be left to my loved ones, and fund value or can actually be considered investments more so if the market will start to recover. Market is down now, but markets will recover. I don't know when but in 5 to 10 years, if that is still time left for me, there is ample time for markets, the global economic situation, to recover and even prosper, even here in the Philippines. I also have coverage on burial requirements. Surely, darating yan. Interestingly, the burial plan I got has appreciated in value 100% the past 7 years. It has a feature of being transferable and assignable. If I sell this burial plan, I will have a gain of 100% from the money I originally put out. I actually intend to get more of these burial plans, not only for future use, now also being part of my simple portfolio of investments. For the purpose of building up my retirement fund, my vehicle for this has been and will still be mutual funds. I had a 30-year horizon or timeline when I started investing for my retirement fund. My roadmap then was investing the same amount every month regardless if price per share of mutual fund I participated in goes up or goes down. I was employing cost averaging down strategy. The first 12 to 14 years were very good. I surpassed my target of 12% compounded growth per year to about 15%. But the past 3 to 5 years has been very bad. The net result from 2004 to 2022, my average is just 6.5% compounded growth per year instead of our target 12%. Shall I continue investing in mutual fund for this purpose? 
was, yes, and I will continue. Just today, the first working day of the year, I have resumed by regular and same amount of investment in the mutual fund. Life is like investing, full of adjustments. So I will have to accept to adjust my cost of lifestyle upon retirement and adjust to save more to be able to add to my regular investments. I also have to adjust my target earning rate from 12% now down to a more conservative 10% on my equities or ownership type or buy type of investments. My other big ticket investment purposes, luxuries and wants in life, vacation, bahay, coche, I save up for it and place in riskier investments. I intend to continue my placement in cryptocurrencies, but now to limit it to one, which is Bitcoin. Bitcoin price in 2022 went down almost 65%. I also employ cost averaging strategy in acquiring Bitcoin. At a particular percentage growth, 100% gain for example, I sell and realize the gain. Every 100% gain, I sell and realize the 100% equivalent of the gain I place. From my readings, I expect Bitcoin price today, 3rd of January 2023, to appreciate 100% in 15 to 18 months. But big MP2, I still am invested and will continue to do so. This is where my cash reserves were originally placed. For now, I will use it for my hedging purposes. This 2023, I intend to get back into direct stock market investing again. I stopped last uh, 2020. I am looking at stocks whose fundamentals are attuned to the VUCA environment we are in. Studying the technicals that can have 30% to 50% variance from its current price to its peak price the past three years. I will employ absolute rate of growth strategy. Meaning, if I hit my desired or target rate of return, I sell all and take the profit from the stock I bought, which is at least one-third of the 30% to 50% variance I mentioned earlier. So, in summary, I will still get into mutual funds. Yes, continue my Bitcoin, but no other cryptocurrencies or derivatives or NFTs, even if it has become popular. Definitely no to crypto lending, no to crypto trading or crypto options, even if Bitcoin ang gamit nila. Just plain buy, hold, and sell if target gain is met. Yan ang uh, sa Bitcoin placements ko. Go back to direct stock market investing with modest amount with clear target growth rate. Move to high yield deposit products, specifically those offered by aggressive digital banks, specifically offered through mobile transaction payment apps. And the must have to cover sad events. Priority are my insurance policies. Protection for unexpected expense items that may come may not come and will surely come. With the VOCA environment upon us, investment returns not a certainty, volatile pa, paglago hindi masigurado, wag lang madagdagan ng potential na mapaggagastosan. Must have or utmost priority is protection, the right and ample protection or insurance coverages. There you go. Kayo, agree ba kayo sa mga paglalagyan ko ng pera? Will you also be betting on the same vehicles or instruments I mentioned? Gagayahin nyo ba ako? Share your views and opinion, maski kontra. Baka sa inyo, may matutudan din ako. Or tayo na nandito at nanonood. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our materials. A meaningful and happy investing to everyone.